Hi, this is Candy Shaw with Tips and Tricks Tuesday, and I want to teach you the reasons why you melt first and then paint, or paint first and then melt. And that's what I'm trying to teach my classroom here in my academy in Atlanta today, and that is why would I choose one versus the other? And here's the answer. If I were to try to remove unwanted foil lines, then it would be very important for me, of course this hair doesn't have it, but I could go in and just make a V section first. And what this does is it gives me much more control with what I'm doing in the sense that I just pinch this hair together, hold it in a V, and paint a huge V. I always use a demi or semi-permanent color, and I'm gonna show my classroom this as I'm doing. So turn around. Do y'all see how I'm painting a V here? And basically, I'm just skimming the top of the hair surface. And the reason why I use a demi-permanent color and why that's really important, I don't wanna use a permanent hair color. Why? Because I'm shifting. So all I'm really doing is shifting. I'm removing lines. So imagine if this was line, 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 like a foil. I would just put a big V in the middle of it to remove the middle out to create the balayage around it and to make the highlight more seamless. Makes sense, right? So I'm just putting a V, and why do I put a V? Is the V is gonna take away unwanted highlight lines. So if I do it like this, in a V, and pinch together, then I go back in with my highlight, and I paint around it, I can bruise right into that hair color. So now, I just come right back in, and I'm gonna turn for you guys to see, and I just, paint my crochet right next to what I just put in. So now I'm just melting right up to it. And when you're using a demi or semi-permanent color, you can bruise right into that. And now you can see how the melt is coming together. And for this side of the room, you can see how that's coming together. Okay, and so that is an important way. Now the V allows me to come in with the crochet and I'm gonna take my loader brush, I'm gonna load up my loader brush and I'm gonna to come to these ends. And as I am pushing into this hair, my loader brush allows me to come right down, right on, and to push my product straight in. Then I'm going to use a technique called dry brushing. So I'm gonna put that back and I'm gonna use a technique called dry brushing. So see where these little places are? I'm gonna just dry brush right into that. Now let me turn for this side of the class. So all I'm doing is dry brushing, so I have nothing on the other side of my brush, right? So I'm gonna dry brush into that hair there, place that product down, you can see how much is on that, and now I have the perfect opportunity to remove a foil line, okay? So that's one way to do it. The second way to do it is if I was going to paint first. So now, say for instance, when you go and you look at your highlight and you just have a few marks that you just kind of want to get rid of. You're kind of like, eh, I don't really like that old highlight and where that highlight lives. So now I could come back in and let's turn so everybody can see from this side. And now I go in and I ride my ridge here I'm holding that section nice and taut, and I'm painting onto this hair, and you notice that I pull from side to side, and I'm gonna need a little more lightener here, and I'm pulling from side to side so that I'm riding the ridge, so I'm getting good saturation of that color. So if I just pull this down, I'm going to get pop marking and dot marking. If I pull this up, now I'm able to film, to, to uh, paint a nice stroke. You see how pulling it up allows me to lift that hair up? You see how now the product is in the hair more? Okay, did y'all see that? So when the hair's down, the product doesn't saturate into the hair as much. When the product is up or the hair is up, that allows me to do so. So now I'm coming in and I'm putting my V in ahead of time with my lightener. Now, do I have to go to the ends, all through the ends every time? No, not necessarily. I could drop that hair and not go to, through to the ends. But in this case, I'm just gonna come into the ends. I'm gonna saturate, saturate with my Sunlight's Lightener. I'm gonna come down. 
I'm going to take my trusty dry brush. I'm going to come in and I'm going to dry brush here. 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 Now I've began to make sure that my saturation is clean. Then I'm going to go back in with my, with my melt and my melt. Now I pinch and I place my same V into the hair. Now, why would you do this before versus after or after versus before is simply based on control. So the control of the hair that you want is the reason. So here, even though the two looks are very similar once they're done, one is for the control of removing those lines first so that you know you get them, or the second is just because you want to shift the color or build shadow in. Okay? So stay tuned for more tips and tricks Tuesday with Candy.